Hi, I'm Cathy from Greater Dandenong Libraries. It's book week and the theme this year is Curious Creatures, Wild Minds. The Children's Book Council of Australia award prizes each year and this book is nominated in the section Book of the Year, Early Childhood. So I'm going to tell you about all the nominated books in that category. They're aimed at children zero to six, but I love this book and I think everyone will enjoy it. The really good news is that all these books are available for you at home right now through the Greater Dandenong Library website in the children's page you can go to the Storybox Library or the Overdrive ebook and audiobook platform. So let me tell you about all of these books. My Friend Fred, written by Francis Watts and illustrated by A. Yu. This is a book about friendship, highlighting that we don't have to agree with or like everything about our friends. We don't have to be the same as our friends. Friendship is about appreciating the value of another and accepting and learning from the things we don't like or understand about each other. The illustrations really add value to the story. The first page has a huge clue to the twist at the end. We're Stuck, written and illustrated by Sue DeGenario. Sue has created some beautiful illustrations in her charming story about animals being stuck in a lift, set around the themes of friendship, community and belonging. It mirrors the lives of many who live and work together and then somewhat magically can form a community through an annoying event such as a lift breaking down. One Runaway Rabbit Written by David Metzenteen and illustrated by Marie Murphy. The book has only three words on each page, so it gives plenty of scope for readers' imagination while appealing to the very young. The story is beautifully matched to the illustrations, which reflect fear, excitement and love in the story. It's a wonderful opportunity to focus on how to deal with things that frighten us and how to maintain hope. Bat vs. Poss, written by Alexa Moses and illustrated by Anil Tortop. This delightful book with a superb Australian flavour is funny and warm, and yet its themes include bullying and confrontation. The story shows how we can help each other deal with problems and there's always room for empathy. It's ideal for read aloud delivery. When Billy Was a Dog is written by Kirsty Murray and illustrated by Karen Blair. Billy really wanted a dog, so he takes matters into his own hands to convince his parents. This book covers the themes of family, perseverance and responsibility. Don't read this book to your kids unless you want to give them ideas about how to get a pet. Finally, there's Goodbye House, Hello House, written by Margaret Wilde and illustrated by Anne James. This is a heartwarming story of letting go and starting anew. It promotes acceptance of change in our ever-changing lives and considers the contrast between life in the country and in the city. It's the perfect book if your family is considering a change of location. I loved all of those books. If you look on Storybox in the Storybox library or on Overdrive, you'll see links or tags to the CBCA awarded books for different age groups so you can see what else has won prizes. So I hope you celebrate Book Week by sharing some of these fantastic books with the children in your life. 
Look out on the website for more story times, book reviews, virtual programs. So much for you, for you to enjoy. Bye for now.